Good morning, wolves. I wanted to let you know what we're going to do today. Hopefully you remember from last Friday because I asked you not to forget. So I gave, we gave a good explanation of everything. So now I'm going to go over it and just make sure you remember. We're talking about Athens versus Sparta. The first thing I was realizing this morning is maybe you don't know where Athens or Sparta is. So I've got some maps here for you. So here is our map of Europe. Here we've got Germany. And over here is your Greece. You see Greece has got a big island here and then a little island here. Lots and lots of islands there. You can see Athens right there. Athens is the capital of Greece. So on this map, I've got a closer up picture of Greece. So that map is this part right here, including Crete. And the green is where Athens is. So Athens is a city, but it's also an empire. So it's got a lot of people there. And Sparta here, again, Sparta and its allies. So Sparta, same thing. Sparta's a city, but it's got all this area that is loyal to Sparta. So it's got its empire as well. And then there's some other Greek areas, Crete and this main section right here, a little bit out of Sparta. So when we're talking Athens versus Sparta, we're talking two main cities in Greece and the allies, the empire that goes along with them. And we've got this other part of Greece that we don't really talk about. So if Athens is the capital and Sparta is not even on my map. Which do you think was the more powerful empire, or the more powerful area in the end? Okay, I'll let you guys think about that. We'll discuss that later once we're done with all of our presentations and things. So now I'm going to take you to the e-learning timetable. Right here I am, Wednesday second class. This is the instructional video, the video you're watching right now, the video you've gotten on WhatsApp. So if you need to see it again and you don't want to look through WhatsApp, you can look at it right here. Just click on the link. The other link is Athens versus Sparta Classroom. So when you click on that link, it opens up to this assignment. There you go. So watch the video. We've already done that. We watched this video, The Horrible Histories. And we assigned ourselves between Athens and Sparta. So that was what we did last class. So you watch it if you want to watch that video again. I think it's an excellent video to watch hundreds of times. Go ahead and watch it and enjoy it for the first four minutes. Well, the whole video is four minutes for the first four minutes of class. So then we're going to start working on our work. So we have our Athens group. Araya is doing economy. Naomi is doing women. Lucas is doing education. Yadon is doing the government. That's the Athens group. The Sparta group, we've got Leo doing economy, Christopher doing education, Finn is also doing education, Hannah is doing women, and Leonie is doing government. Okay, so that's what we did last class. So we're ready to move on to today's lesson, step two on the 6th of May. Okay, so what you're going to do here, let me read it for you. Read the selection in the Hangout. No, in Classroom. I need to fix that. Read the selection in Classroom and answer the questions. After watching the video, you'll read one section about your city. So we've got Sparta, we've got Athens, and we've got the different sections. So let's take a look at Athens first because it's on top. So I've got down here four things. One says Athens versus Sparta, History Alive. One says Athens History Alive, one says Sparta History Alive, and then here's the horrible history that you might have already watched. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to either open Athens or Sparta, depending if you're Athens or Sparta here. But everyone needs to open this Athens versus Sparta History Alive. We talked about this worksheet last class, and I said if you wanted to print it out, you can get it printed out. Here's the worksheets. We've seen this before. We've got our government of Athens and Sparta our economy of Athens and Sparta, and education, Athens and Sparta, and finally the treatment of slaves, Athens and Sparta. You are going to personally do one half of one worksheet. So if you're assigned to the Spartan government, you're only going to do, let's see, I don't think it's going to highlight, you're only going to do this section. Why was Sparta called an oligarchy? You should know what oligarchy is. That was a little lesson before is, um, class. So you've got to do three things why our, uh, uh, Sparta was called an oligarchy. Okay, so let's go back to your readings. 
Ah, let me show you another tip. If you have not printed them out, you can go ahead and click the print button. And what it does, it doesn't print it, but it opens it up in a new tab so that way you can go back to classroom and you can still have the reading selection up because if not you lose the reading selection. I'll show you that how to do that in just a second again. So I said we're going to start with Athens. We're going to start with Aureus. Aureus is doing Athens economy. So let me pull up the Athens. Okay so this is Athens government so that's not Aureus. She's doing economy. Here's Aurea, Athens economy. So Aurea is going to read this selection See, it ends there. So she's going to read this selection, very short, and then she's going to answer, and now that says government, that says economy. So she's going to answer this question. So if you notice, it was the second one of the reading, so therefore it is the second one of the thing. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead oh, and I'll write on here which section you are and put you guys in the right order. So I'll have that corrected so when you pull this open you'll see that correct. Now what I said I was going to show you how to print that again to get that in another tab because you see in order to go back I had to go out of it and oh shoot it's gone again okay I need to open it again that's really annoying. So here's the print button I'm just going to click the print button I'm not going to print so don't worry if you don't have a printer I'm going to click the print button it's popped up and now it's in a new tab. So then when I need to go back, oh, what was I supposed to do? You can look right here. So you've got your classroom open, you've got your reading selection open, and you've got your worksheet. Okay? So I hope that under clarifies everything. If you want to watch the video again, watch it. I would watch it because I just think it's hilarious then you need to figure out which one of the sections you are. You should already know because we picked it last week. Then you get your Athens or your Sparta reading. So let's say Leone, she's doing government of Sparta. So she goes to her Sparta. Here's her reading. Oh, she's first right here. Okay, so remember what she's going to do. She's going to click the print button so it's not on top of her classroom because it's really annoying when your classroom goes away. So she's going to click the print button. Boom, there it is. So now, when she goes back, she can still see her classroom. Okay? So, remember which section you are. Open your worksheet that you might already have printed out, because a lot of you said you were going to print it out right then and there. And open up your two readings. All you have to do is your one section. So of these four worksheets, you're just going to do one half of the worksheet. And then on Friday, you're going to tell the information to your classmates and they're going to fill in the rest. So Friday at the end of class it'll all be done and you feel like you've done tons of work when actually you've only done one eighth of the work. So it's really fun to share. So make sure your answers are really, really good because those are the answers your classmates are going to get. Just like when we did governments. When we did the different governments, the answers you gave are the answers that your classmates wrote in. Okay, I hope that helps you. Unfortunately, I can't answer any questions during class time because I'm going to be doing a Spanish oral test with our preps. This is one of the tests that actually counts for the IGCSE grades. So I hope that answers everything. Um, please ask each other um, if you have any questions about it or don't remember it. Uh, Finn, why don't you see if you can read with Christopher. That would be lovely if you two read together. And then everyone else is reading on your own. Okay, so I will have my phone with me. You can text me, but I won't be able to answer it necessarily very quick and the sound will be off. So if you have any questions, just like I say, ask each other or rewatch this video again and it will hopefully explain everything you need to know. I hope you have a lot of fun and I can't wait to see you on Friday. Bye-bye.